Slope Soaring Update. With Philip Randolph. Reporting from a ridge in British Columbia, a dramatic scene unfolds when Dr. Marvin Totenberg tests a prototype V-Wing. We're watching footage we recorded at a remote windy bluff near Kamloops, British Columbia, Canada. The gentleman with the tape and scissors and hunks of lead is Dr. Marvin Totenberg, PhD, Electrical Engineering with Fermi Labs. We are about to observe the test of what Dr. Totenberg says should be breakthrough aerodynamics. Currently, we're watching Dr. Totenberg add balancing lead to his revolutionary prototype project Dr. Totenberg claims that scaled up versions of his prototype should be able to hold passengers in airliners that are entirely wing. Then, in what in our experience with Dr. Totenberg is a rare moment of levity, he lit a very narrow cigarette, exhaled a series of smoke rings, and said, because of its high aspect ratio, which is an aerodynamic term for long, narrow wings, I considered calling it the Virginia Slim, V in Virginia for v line get it? As proof of concept, Dr. Totenberg has assembled this prototype. He told us the prototype's wings are actually salvaged ailerons from the leftovers of a diamond composite aircraft, which was factory subjected to destructive testing and which he acquired in his local aviation junkyard. Hi, ah, Dr. Totenberg has apparently finished his balancing and is walking toward the slope for an unpowered glide test. Assisting Dr. Totenberg is the famous retired pitcher Bo Rothmore, or as his fans affectionately call him, Bobo. Bobo is here to give the prototype a good toss and perhaps a toss into aviation history. Dr. Totenberg is now doing the last pre-flight check of the electronic control systems of the V-Liner scale prototype. I see we're having a little potential interference from Bobo's shaved golden retriever, Boris. Dr. Totenberg is yelling at Boris. Yes. While we're waiting okay. for the lunch, let me comment that Bobo yes. has confidentially explained to us that he only shaves his dog to make him more comfortable in the summer heat, which made perfect sense to us, but then he added the comment, and not for other reasons, a comment we didn't understand completely, but, ah, Dr. Totenberg and Bobo are indeed getting ready for lunch. The toss, barely missing the ground. Up, up and away. It's flying great. How graceful. Audience, you are watching aviation history. Wait, it's in trouble. Ouch. After this taping, Dr. Totenberg explained that he should have turned the prototype away from the hill, which would have added its crosswind speed to the oncoming wind speed. By turning toward the hill, he aligned the speed of his plane with the speed of the wind, making an airspeed too low to maintain flight. Okay, they are launching again. Oh, oh my. Okay, they are launching again. Oh my! Okay, they are launching again. Ah, the pesky ground has not interfered this time. Dr. Martin Totenberg's prototype V-Liner is again flying great. Absolutely graceful. It's amazing. A graceful turn. It's like aerial ballet, a triumph.
Wait, something is happening. It's veering from side to side and all the way around some sort of a spin. Can it recover? Oh, our cameraman has lost it. As Dr. Totenberg is walking back toward us in what must have been a very hard moment for him, we'll recap some of his later comments on what you just saw. He says, swept wings often have problems with spanwise flows, especially if the nose of the aircraft veers to one side instead of air cutting across the airfoil, air may slide along it, not helping lift. Often this is self-correcting, but here it moved forward till the other wing lost lift to spanwise flow. So it rocked back and forth worse and worse till it entered a spin from which there was not sufficient altitude to recover. All in all, he said, the proof of concept was in how well it flew with merely wind up a slope to hold it aloft. The spanwise flow, stability issues are minor, correctable problems, the sort that are routinely and easily remodulated in the evolution of an aircraft. Philip Roland Headley Randolph, Slope Soaring Update.